Real Eiderdown is one of the warmest natural fibres you can find, but it doesn't come cheap, and an Eiderdown double duvet could cost you over $8,000. Harvested from the nests of eider ducks found wild in Iceland, collecting a kilo of this fluffy material isn't easy, and only four metric tons are produced worldwide each year. So what makes Eiderdown so expensive? Eiderdown is the soft underfeathers of the common eider, used to protect it from arctic conditions and freezing cold seas. During the breeding season, this down naturally sheds and the female ducks use it to build their nest. This is where the Eiderdown collectors come in. Eiderdown farmers across Iceland will harvest this down either by taking small amounts from each nest or waiting for the birds to disappear completely before collecting. The Eiderdown is a natural product and when the other dog leaves the nest, she leaves the down. Yeah, so if we would not take the down, it would just blow away and be useless. While this product is natural and ethically harvested, it's not particularly practical to source. Farmers have to find and collect every nest by hand, and each one contains just 15 grams of down. We have um, 240 islands in Breiðafjörður, and uh, the islands that the eider duck nests in are 150 and we have to go between all the islands by small boats. The nests are not very close to each other so we have to walk around all the islands uh, to find the nests and uh, it can be difficult to find the nests. It's sometimes hidden between rocks or high grass or high plants and we have to look very carefully to find all the nests, and I'm sure we do not find all of them. But once the down is harvested, the work has only just begun. Up to 80% of the weight of the harvest is made up of sticks, seaweed, or larger feathers, and all of this needs to be removed. The eider down is first moved to an oven and baked at 120 degrees Celsius for at least eight hours, drying out any of the unwanted debris and making it easier to sort. Then it goes through multiple specially made machines each one sorting more and more pieces from the down. A larger spinning machine separates the outer feathers, but the only way to make sure every single one of these feathers is removed is by hand. After cleaning the down in the machines, we have to clean the eider down by hand, and it takes about four or five hours for an experienced person to pick one kilo. Once every feather has been laboriously removed by hand, the down is ready to be washed, pressed and dried one final time. For the few that can afford it, the final eider down is worth the work. Compared to other goose or duck down, eider down is denser, stronger and more insulating. Small barbs in the individual eider down plumes trap the air and make it more wind resistant too. The majority of the eider down that King Eider produces is sold as is for companies to use in their products but it also sells its own pillows and duvets. Eider ducks are strictly protected in Iceland. It's illegal to hunt them or to sell their eggs, and the final down is closely monitored too. 1970, there were, were laws in Iceland that we must certify all eider down that is sold. And also when we are making some products like duvets or pillows or, or some garments, we must uh, book a time uh, with the inspector and he must check the quality and the weight before we fill the product. This rigorous system means that every single Eiderdown product in Iceland has been checked by an inspector. Other countries have their own certification systems, but Iceland produces about 80% of the world's Eiderdown. Unlike industrially farmed down, which is often a byproduct of the meat industry, and one that can often involve battery farming and live plucking of geese, all of the eider ducks are kept wild, and while the process itself is labour-intensive, a large part of the job of farmers is keeping the ducks safe. The first step is protecting the area for the eider ducks and uh, trying to attract the eider ducks to the areas. Uh, there are predators like fox and minks, and uh, also gulls and ravens and uh, farmers try to keep the predators away. Some of the farmers make some fences 
and some farmers uh, use some bright colors or uh, maybe noises to keep the predators away. So it's it's a lot of work to watch the area. Get all of this right though, and the end result is one of the warmest natural fibers on the planet.